Good afternoon, family. If you hear jingling in the background, that's Jasmine walking through the house. That's her caller. I hope you're having a great Saturday. I'm going to read a little bit from Isaiah 17, verse 1. The burden against Damascus. Behold, Damascus will cease from being a city, and it will be a ruinous seed. Prophecy is being fulfilled right before our eyes. We could be raptured any time now. And when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, and you repent, repent means a change of mind. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen any time. Remember, we're all meeting at the brownie table. A sister in Christ said uh, the other day, said, Sister, did you say brownie table? I said, I sure did. I said, I said brownie table. That's my noisy bed, I'm sorry. Not the seafood table. No, I'm just kidding. I'll probably like it in heaven. I don't like it down here. If I have to pick it up, I gotta roll down the car windows. I'm like, <laughs> I hate that stuff so much. But um, accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you haven't accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior and you want to right here right now, believe, repent. Repent means to change your mind. I live for Christ. Jesus, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. I believe you are the Son of God who came down from heaven. Born of a virgin, you lived a sin-free life. You took on my sin on the cross, suffered, died, and was buried. And on the, third, on the third day, you're alive. You're seated at the right hand of the Father. Come into my heart. I'm making my Lord and Savior. Wash me clean with your precious blood. You're absolutely ready. Which is going to happen any time. We're just, I'm looking at the sky. Every day I look at the sky. It's going to be soon. I know we're all exhausted. God's timing is perfect. Remember, the Holy Spirit, when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. We are new in Christ. And he will get us through these dark days. You know, I just uh, went with my mother to see that movie Civil War. It's sad. It is. But before I jump into that, um, I just want to say please pray for Israel. Um, you know, if they just leave Israel alone, there'd be peace out there. But the Bible's clear there will never be peace until Jesus is, until Jesus establishes his kingdom on earth. I mean the Antichrist will make peace. <clears throat> the Antichrist will make peace temporarily. It will be a false peace. And everybody will marvel over him. Oh, uh please can please continue to keep Israel in your prayers. And you know, all all the innocent people out there that just want to live in peace, you know. War is War is horrible, you know, on both sides. But each day we're here, family, plant those seeds, get your left behind letters together. My mother has her left behind letter, I have mine. We have the Bible by it. You know, it's like in the days of Noah. Well, like in the days of Noah, Noah and his family were deemed worthy and escaped God's wrath. Did God have them go through the flood, but they kept, but he kept them safe? No. They escaped God's wrath. We will too. Revelation 3 verse 10. Clearest indicator of that. But wherever you stand on the rapture, stay close to the Lord. Put on the floor of God. Because remember, Satan isn't going to focus too much on the ones he already has. He's going after the ones God has big plans for and the ones that are deemed a threat. And that's us. But you know what? Satan was defeated at the cross. He has no power, no authority over you. And I promise whatever you're going through, you're not going to be going through it much longer. I know what it's like to struggle now, I'm tr not trying to get sympathy on that. Some people say, oh, you're trying to get sympathy. No, I'm not. I'm just, I understand. I may not understand, you know, completely what you're going through. But I understand. I, I woke up one morning and lost everything. But I gained so much. I have this this channel. I have my brothers and sisters who I love so much. I love you guys so much. You guys mean so much to me. And I had a lot of anger in me for a long time. I couldn't understand. I was trying to make it on my own as a single mother. I couldn't understand why God allowed those things to happen. Sometimes we don't completely understand. But it doesn't mean we're not going to have moments of struggle. But it's how we handle it. I have an internal peace. I used to snap at everybody around me. But I have an internal peace now that I never used to have before. That's what the Holy Spirit does. He gives you that internal peace. And... I know life's tough. Maybe you can't afford to buy food. 
Maybe you can't afford to buy gas. Maybe you're having trouble paying the bills. But this is almost over, guys. I, 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 we don't know the day or the hour, but it is coming soon. This is almost over. I assure you that. And the Holy Spirit will get us through all of this. See, we have so much to look forward to. This is all temporary. That movie, um, Civil War. Ooh, it's a little graphic. I um, didn't realize it was that graphic. But all I'm going to say is what the movie is about is Russia taking over our country. And the president in the movie, the president was a traitor. And Russia came in and took over the country. Civil War broke out. I'm like, and that's all I'm going to say, but we're all thinking the same thing. But I was like, wow. Uh, but me and my mother went to see it, and she's she's, uh, she's going, you know, I never thought I'd live to see the day while this was happening. <laughs> I mean, you know, I heard Obama made this movie. I know he made the other one, Leave the World Behind. I'm pretty sure he had something to do with this one, too. Don't quote me on that. I have to double check. But if he did, I'm like thinking, out of all the ideas and movies he could make, why would he make this? Now, my opinion, and this is just my opinion, not saying this is how it's going to happen, my opinion is the reason why they're opening the borders. There was somebody, and you can look up his story online, I'm sure, that said that they caught at the border, and he said, you don't know my name, but you will soon. What I think is they're just waiting for the green light, and what happened in this movie is going to start happening. Will we be here for that? I believe that's the tribulation. I don't believe we will be. I had what I believe was a glimpse of the tribulation in a nightmare. Maybe a year or two ago. I can't remember the exact date. Maybe a year, year and a half ago. You're not going to be sleeping comfortably. You'll be sleeping with one eye open if you even do. And I remember I saw somebody biting somebody's arm. I didn't know what that was about. But I remember I was in a car with my daughter who was five. And I don't know why. Anytime I have a dream of my daughter, she's always five. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea. But she's 29 now. But I remember the fear of being in that car driving down the road. And I woke up. Um, you do not want to be here. And remember, Satan knows his time's just about up. Put on that full armor guard and resist the devil and he will flee. Remember, he has no power and no authority over you. We'll get through. Because the Holy Spirit's with us. Now, um, all hell's breaking loose right now in Israel. This article is from Now the End Begins. Syria and Jordan declare a state of emergency as Iran has launched dozens of drones against Israel in... Operation True Promise, military operation. Iran has launched waves of drones to attack Israel that are set to hit within hours. I, I believe they're already hitting. Um, when did this article come out? Let me see. Oh, this came out six minutes ago. Okay. Um, in Operation True Promise, as Jordan and Syria declare a state of emergency. Damascus. We'll see. Guys, again, prayers for... Um, Everybody in that part of the world, Israel, especially Israel, and, you know, all the innocent families, women and children that just want to live in peace, you know, but give your life to Jesus if you haven't done that yet, because, guys, we're going home, we're about to go home. As we've been, as we have been telling you for weeks now, Israel was on the verge of waging war on three fronts after already knee-deep in fighting with Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon. Tonight, front number three officially opened as Iran launches dozens of drones that are on their way to Israel as we speak. All Israel is on lockdown right now with residents listening to the sound of, oh, that's poor Israel, listening to the sound of air raid sirens that will signal their rush to the safety of bomb shelters. I just got very emotional right now. It's just, those poor people. You know, there's a lot of young kids in this country that are pro-Palestine that are becoming poor. There's, there's a lot of pro-Israel too, but there's a lot of college kids that are pro-Palestine and it's like, if they would stop attacking them, everything would be combat there. Israel has the right to defend themselves, and Israel is the apple of God's eye. I got news for them. God's in control. You don't mess with Israel. Isaiah 46, verse 13, I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. Iran is calling an Operation True Promise, 
and their Revolutionary Guard Corps have stated that Operation True Promise is a response to Israel's actions and is part of their strategy to punish Israel for its perceived crimes. According to two regional security sources, Jordan has positioned its air defenses to intercept and destroy any Iranian drones on aircraft that breach its airspace. These sources further indicate that the army is on high alert, with radar systems actively monitor, monitoring drone movements. Jordan has also declared a state of emergency in the country. Syria is also on issued has issued also an alert, and it has placed. It's Russian-made Pantsir ground-to-air defense systems on high alert around the capital and major bases, according to Army sources. Israeli military is put on full alert with warplanes scrambled and school trips canceled, with two drone waves set to arrive in hours as we speak, as war in the Middle East threatens to spiral out of control. Dozens of drones were seen flying from Iran over neighboring Iraqis, Oh, I'm spelling this one out, y'all. I'm not even trying. Um, S-U-L-A-Y-M-A-N-I-Y-A. Oh, yeah. Province. According to three security sources, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps said via state media that it had launched ex- extensive drone strikes against targets in occupied territories. Israel has said tonight that its airspace was shutting down at 12.30 a.m. local time. Iraq also announced it was shutting down its airspace and suspending all air traffic on Saturday. This is bad. This is bad. But you know what? This is all this is prophecy. It's not gonna get better, it's gonna keep getting worse. Iranian media reported that a second wave of drones has been launched. Wow. Though details of where they currently are aren't yet known. The IDF spokesperson, um, Admiral Dan- Daniel Hagari said It would take several hours for the drones to arrive in Israel, adding that sirens would be sounded in threatened areas. The IDF said that the air defense array is on high alert at the same time as the Air Force planes and Navy ships that are on a mission to protect the country's skies. The IDF is monitoring all the targets. Quote, we asked the public to adhere to and follow the instructions of the Home Front Command and the official IDF announcements. And they got videos here. Regarding the matter, it was reported today that Iran has more than 100 cruise missiles ready to be launched as part of an imminent strike against Israel in retaliation for an airstrike against Iran's embassy in Damascus, Syria. Announcing increased security measures in Israel during a televised briefing, Chief Military Spokesperson Admiral Daniel Hagari said dozens of combat planes were airborne as part of the state of readiness. Starting at 11 p.m. tonight, The strict measures, which I believe is probably that right now over there, which include the ban of all educational activities across the country, the restriction of working in offices without standard protective spaces, and limits on the number of people at gatherings will be implemented. I I would just be staying home. I would just be staying home. Educational activities have been banned across the country, while restrictions on working have been put in place in areas directly next to the Gaza Strip and other areas in the Gaza envelop. Israelis living on the areas next to the Gaza Strip have been banned from meeting outside in groups of more than 30. I, I wouldn't be going outside at all. I mean, got to keep them in our prayers, guys. And are allowed to meet, to meet up to 300 people inside buildings. Beaches in the Gaza envelope have also have been closed due to um, this threat. Iran launches a drone attack against Israel, and this is breaking. The U.S. has warned Israel that an attack by Iran is imminent and could happen as early as Saturday. Iran says the attack will be uh, retaliation for an airstrike in Syria that killed several high-ranking Iranian military members. The U.S. has said it will back Israel, and when asked if fake President Joe Biden had a message for Iran on Friday, the president simply said, don't. You know, there is nobody, there's no world leader in this country that is afraid of Biden. There is no world leader in this country that respects Biden. So I'm sure don't is falling on deaf ears, in my opinion. But this is Bible prophecy, guys. This is Bible prophecy. Keep looking up. Go home anytime. 
Remember Isaiah 17, verse 1? The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city. It shall be a ruinous heap. I know there's been more out there before, but one of these times, maybe even this one. We're getting, Basically, we're going home very soon. And we got to keep Israel in our prayers. And all the innocent families and women and children that just want to live in peace. But, you know, poor Israel, they just, they just want to be left alone. If there's any more news about this, I will be back on. Um, I may go out and do Uber tonight. It depends on how tired I am. Um, I'm so tired, y'all, that when we went to get our popcorn, I handed them uh, my movie ticket to pay for it. My mother's like, you can't drop to I do. So, um, keep looking up. Keep listening. If there's any more breaking news, I promise you guys I'll be back on. And... Um, I will see you at the marriage supper. God bless you. And I will talk to you soon.